TBA is total body irradiation. Total body irradiation means delivery of radiation from head to toe that is entire body. It serves two purposes. The first one is it will kill the cancer cells or destroy the cancer cells which are there in the bone marrow and circulating blood. The second one is it's a immunoablative action. It means it suppresses the immune system so that the graft can be taken up easily. These are all the two important indications for the bone marrow transplant. The TBA has two indications. The first one is malignant indications and another one is benign indications. The malignant indications are acute lymphoblastic leukemia and acute myeloblastic leukemia. These are all blood cancers. And apart from that, lymphomas, okay, those are uh, non-Hodgkin's lymphomas, aggressive form of lymphomas. And benign indications are just like aplastic anemia. Before the, this topic, that is how TBI is delivered, we have to know that uh, source to skin distance. In generally, the, for the all radiation treatments, the source to surface distance is 80 to 100 cm. Now coming to the how TBA is delivered. How TBA is delivered in two forms. The first one is conventional form where the patient lies down on a couch or stands up. Okay, It should be in extended SSD form. That means the SSD is more than 100 cm. In generally for conventional TBA, it's around 3 to 5.5 meters away from the source, radiation source. And what are the drawbacks for this uh, conventional TBA is, even though it's the most commonly practicing regimen, conventional TBA, it has some drawbacks. What are they? The first one is the, the dose rate because the radiation dose, acute dose rate is, okay, you have to treat patients in the 80 to 100 centimeters, but if you are treating at 5.5 meters or 5.3 meters from the radiation source, the dose rate will be variable. The second one is, in generally, for delivering the radiation, you have to spare the critical organs. In TBI, while delivering TBA, the critical organs are lungs and kidneys and eyes. While sparing the critical organs, it has some uncertainties in the conventional TBA. The third drawback, uh, the, the third drawback is the um, dose delivery system. It has its own drop, uh, flaws. The second one is the conformal TBA. This is a highly advanced form of DBA, where the TBA, the total body radiation, will be delivered in standard SSD. That means, okay, 80 to 100 centimeters SSD form. The what are the advantages here in the conformal TBA is it will the dose coverage the uniform dose coverage can get easily with the standard SSD technique conformal technique. The second one is you can spare the critical organs such as lungs, kidneys and eyes and the dose rate will be the standard one where you can achieve the uh, standard dose rate because we are treating patients with the standard SSD techniques. There are two different treatment schedules because the TBA delivering depends upon the radiation dose. The myeloablative dose, non-myeloablative dose. Non-myeloablative dose is just simple two gray delivering to the entire body. Generally, these will be given to suppress the immune cells. That is to suppress the immune system. This is also called as immunoblastic TBA. Generally, this will be delivered to the benign conditions such as aplastic anemia. The myeloablative TBA, that is nowadays we are delivering it in two forms, that is the reduced intensity myeloablative regimen and myelo standard myeloablative regimen. In standard myeloablative regimen, we will give 12 to 16 gray of radiation and it will be delivered over a period of three, uh, three to four days. And morning, we will deliver 2 gray, in the evening we will deliver 2 gray and there will be 6 hours, 6 hours gap will be there in between the two fractionations. And in reduced dose myeloablative regimen, the total dose is 8, 8 gray and it will be delivered over a period of 2 days and 2 fractions in a day. So for conventional TBA, it will, it is a, what you say, easy process and conformal TBA is a little bit complex procedure 
and conventional TBI it will take at least 30 to 45 minutes while conformal also it will take 45 to 60 minutes but for conformal TBI delivery for LINAC based specifically there are two machineries available to deliver conformal TBIs the first one is tomotherapy second one is LINAC based and the LINAC based TBA okay that's also called as VMAT TBA for this okay we have to take what is a multiple shifts we have to deliver total body radiation in multiple shifts so in each and every shift we have to take cone beam CT scan and we have to achieve the proper matching and then only you have to deliver radiation that's why for conformal VMAT TBA it will take 45 to 60 minutes.